friends. I finally found a place where you can sit in my car. I don't know how long you're gonna stay there though, so that's that's a question. I apologize for the air situation because it's cold outside, but it's hot in here, and yeah, that's where we're kind of at at the moment. So we're gonna go get some lunch, and we're gonna chat. Let's go. Okay, so um, that kind of backfired. <laughs> I'm sitting outside and talking with you guys. Um, I stopped at, there's a foxtail that serves bagels and their own foxtail drinks. And I got an iced chai latte, which I needed. So, anywho, I'm in my car. Um, there is one other family there and I would have felt really awkward sitting outside talking to myself with another family there. So if it was just me, I would have felt less awkward. So I'm planning on going to Trader Joe's, but I want to take you along on this kind of um, <clears throat> errand type run thing and we're going to chat. Um, basically, I want to tell you why I changed my name to Vanessa Adventures. And oh look, there's the worker. That's not awkward. This is awkward. We're gonna go to Trader Joe's. I'll talk later. I don't know if you want to see a haul from Trader Joe's, but I'm gonna show you anyway. So this is not everything. I had to throw some things in the fridge that needed to be in the fridge. But I got some tortilla chips because I'm making some uh, fajitas this week. I have some fire roasted tomato salsa that should be good. I really like this um, roasted garlic marinara, which then we'll use with the pasta, which I really like this pasta, it's very good. I've yet to make my own per TikTok and everything. Got some bagels to have on hand in the freezer. These dark, dark chocolate peanut butter cups are literally amazing. They are better than Reese's. Like I just, they're so addicting and so good. And I never, I hardly go to Trader Joe's. So when I do, I get something nice. Also, another staple of mine is the crunchy cookie butter. I discovered this probably three years ago and it's literally the best thing ever. This has made me want to be a chunky peanut butter person because of this stuff. It's just, you need it. You need to make toast or make some sort of pastry that's toasted and then put it on this, put this on it and it's amazing. Just trust me on that. Got some vegetable broth for some risotto I'm making, pineapple, fruits and veggies. Got some almond milk, got their ver their brand, um, which I'm very excited to try because I've tried Target's brand and I'm not exactly a big fan of it. So I'm excited to try Trader Joe's brand to see because actually Trader Joe's brand would be cheaper if that's the case. Also, cannot live, out with, live without these amazing pieces of mango, which is why I got three, because I never go. And then I got this. I'm very excited because I already have the everything but the bagel seasoning, so I'm excited to try a nut mix. Okay, so let's chat a little bit <laughs> because I my original plan was to sit down with you guys for lunch somewhere secluded so I wouldn't feel weird talking to myself. But unfortunately that didn't happen. So we're gonna sit here. I'm gonna have some mango. Um, if you have your own mango, I highly, or whatever snack, highly encourage to get your own and join me. If I can get this open, there we go. I know, I did have braces for three years, but what is that when you can rip things open with your teeth? It's fine. I know a lot of people say get the chili ones, but I don't like those. I just like the straight mango, which is the juicy, amazing mango. So, side note. So, oh, hello, hello. There we go. So to get to the gist of everything, why did I change my name? Well, <laughs> 
Well, not my legal name. Let's make that clear. I changed my Instagram name, Instagram handle, and every all the handles to Vanessa Adventures. Now I still have a Twitter page out there that hopefully by the time this goes live, you know what, I'm just gonna do that now. We're all gonna do it together. Okay, anyway, I'm totally derailed. Not that that really matters, but change Twitter for the sake of changing Twitter. Anywho, so, oh, I do have another place to change it to. I'm gonna do that. Anyway, we're back, we're back here. So why did I change my Instagram, most importantly, Instagram, um, TikTok, and YouTube, and, and my website, and my blog for the most part? Why did I change the name? So for almost five years, pretty much five years now, I've been going as Vanessa Jordan Photo or Vanessa Jordan Photography in some aspect. And that was the main point of my business until I started to change things and move things around until now at the point in 2021 that I realized that I'm going in more of the influencer content creation direction than a photographer business model. So I was getting to that point at the end of 2020 of trying to decide, do I just keep it as photo or do I really just totally embrace it and branch off? So I had a lot of conflicting feelings about it and I've been thinking about it for a while. I've been talking with my friends, I've been talking with other influencers and just kind of getting their ideas and their thoughts. And it was just one day that my roommate and friend was just like, you know what, you should probably change it. And I was like, what do you, why? And he's like, you should just, just do it, just change it. And I really didn't think about it up until that point, but the more we talked about it, I was like, yeah. I should change this and the reason was because I was I am going in that more that direction yes I am taking on clients photography clients but I'm taking them on in a different way yes I am working with influencers and content creators but I'm also gonna be working with brands to photograph stuff for them that I'm in so I feel like I'm still under the Vanessa Jordan photography kind of umbrella but for me I feel like Vanessa Adventures fits better because it's not, it's showing me as an influencer as well. It's not putting me in a hole of only being a photographer. And because that's not where all of my income comes from, I feel like it's valid to change it. It's, I'm not always a photographer, that's not all I do. And so changing that entirely and just having photography be a part of me definitely makes sense. So where the adventures comes from is because I always say I'm up for an adventure. I always say that to people, I always say that in my posts. I feel like that's just a tagline I always say. And it's true, I love traveling and I thought Vanessa Travels, taken. I was trying to think of other things to say but I'm like adventures and ends up that it wasn't taken. So that's where we are, that's what I took. And I feel like this can go into many different areas of my life. I can adventure around here. I can do my own personal journeys and adventures. I can do, it kind of opens up the world so much more to different things I want to do that I didn't really have before. And now I can document it and share content and make content. Not that I couldn't before, like there was nothing holding me back to make that content before. But now I feel like my brand finally speaks to what I want to do. And that final little piece was changing the name. And it all has led up to this. I started as a senior and wedding photographer and slowly morphed into a brand photographer, adding some education and influencing in there. And then to the point where I got here, where I was trying to exclusively work with content creators and then realizing how much I love making that content myself and then morphing into what this is now. <laughs> So it's been a long process. It's been a long journey. This isn't like just a spur of the moment. It led up to this point. There are so many changes and shifts that I made over the years to get me here, as well as just making different decisions and paths and really embracing something that I've wanted to do for the longest time, which is be an influencer and not be apologetic about that. That is something that I've really always wanted and never realized how much I wanted until now. So that's kind of where this came from. <laughs> um, it was a long time coming, obviously, and 
I just needed to make the leap and just do it. So that is where Vanessa Adventures comes from. That is why I changed and I feel like it's the right move and I'm excited for what's gonna move forward, things I'm gonna offer, things I'm going to have on my different main platforms, which as I've shared are face or Facebook, no, um, Instagram, um, TikTok, YouTube, and my blog. I'm gonna to try to add more to my blog as well. So those four places are where you're gonna be able to find me most. I do still have these other platforms and they will live in case I want to revive them. But those four are the ones that I'm gonna mostly focus on because that's where my audience is. And I've, built, I've been building an audience here. I've been building an audience on Instagram and TikTok. So that's where it is and I'm enjoying adding more to my blog and adding more to make it kind of a resource um, for a lot of different things. For um, for education, and I mean, I use education loosely. Like if there's tips and tricks that I wanna share, I wanna keep that on my blog and have that as like a resource page for that. I wanna keep it as a resource page if there's anything that I recommend, any products, any services, any really anything. I wanna have that there, any brand collaborations. I just wanna have that be kind of like a whole one-stop shop there. Of course, social media will have its own content, but really as have the blog more as, as a resource, if worse comes to worse, you're trying to find something that I mentioned, it'll be on the blog. Like that's kind of my thought process. Like if it's nothing immediate and you're like, oh, she had a post like a month ago about such and such, and you're struggling to find it, my goal is to have everything I mention somehow, somewhere on the blog and have that be easier for you guys to find because then you're not searching through Instagram, you're not having to DM me, which I mean, if you DM me, that's fine, like I'll help, but I want that blog to be a resource for not only me, but for you guys as well. So that's kind of why I changed and I feel like this is embraced and given me all sorts of new inspiration to make new content and different content in a way that I've wanted to make for a really long time and just talk about all fun adventures and travels and Disney things I'm doing, things I'm doing locally and just kind of share more with you guys and be more lifestyle, I guess you can call it, but just kind of show more of my life and more of who I am and less of, I am authority figure, please listen to me. I mean, I do know what I'm talking about for most of the point, most of the time, but I'm just here sharing things I know and that I care about and I hope it inspires you or helps you or if you decide to go get some mangoes, like definitely do that. Um, gonna get another piece of mango. The only thing though that is kind of annoying is they all stick together. I mean, as mangoes do, they're dried, but they're delicious. So, but yeah, long story short, that's why we change. I just got to the point that the change needed to happen, that it was just like push come to shove. It's like, am I gonna be a photographer and just do that? Or am I gonna go in this different direction? Because I've tried education, I've tried YouTube on education and I got burned out really fast. I've tried courses. I've tried two different types of courses in one to not put me in a good financial state. So that's another thing, but it's not for me. I just want to create content. And if I can give tips along the way, that's great. But I am not the play, I'm not the person to have a, all these different online courses and keep putting love into it. Like I, that's too much for me. <laughs> I'd rather create a piece or a product that I spend all love, put all the love and stuff into at one time and then that's it. And then I can just sell and I just promote it. I don't want to continuously go back and redo it. Like if there's like one time that I just want to create all new things, then sure, I'll like redo it all. But do you get what I'm, I'm, hope you, I'm hoping that you're getting what I'm saying because that's kind of what makes sense in my brain. I wanna create like a guide or something that I don't necessarily need to change like constantly. Like it's just a product that I have that I sell that gives love, gives you guys value and gives you something that could be 
usable for you guys. And then from there, my hands are really sticky. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm distracted. Um, because then that gives you guys some value to create your own content. That's my goal and that's a project that I'm working on that hopefully I can have launched by the end of the month. We'll see. Um, but already out right now is my vintage travel style postcards and stickers. So these are all based off of, I'll show pictures here. These are all based off of pictures I have already taken. So these photos I've already taken and I have using my graphic design skills and my huge graphic design background with my degree, using something with my degree that I have. Um, I took it into Illustrator and image traced it, altered it to really make it look like that vintage um, printed look. Um, like someone took a picture and it was very few colors and you can only select a few colors to print it and that's just how it came out. And I think it's just such a cool and beautiful thing to take like these very crisp and beautiful photos and make them into this kind of vintage style and make them into these beautiful postcards and stickers that you can take on all of your adventures. Mm -hmm. See where that comes in? Sorry, I have my mango here. I'll put it there. <laughs> I'm just holding my mango. Anyway, um, so you can take on your adventures, you can take them on vacations, and instead of buying those really cheapy postcards that you may not like or may think are cheesy, you can bring your own and you can write to your friends and give them this beautiful piece of artwork or just collect them all so then you can have artwork. Like, I mean, I have up here, like this one right here, those are like Disney postcards. And that was kind of my big inspiration were like the Disney postcards that are in the Wonder Gallery and that are just so beautiful that I framed them in my apartment. So I wanna give that opportunity with my own art to you guys. So if you wanna check it out, it's in the link below. And enjoy and go on adventures and share and tag me of all the different things that you do with these products as well as any adventures that you go on and you'd like me to try and explore that or something. I'm up for adventures as long as they're domestic right now. And um, obviously, cause we can't travel internationally right now and just safely because COVID. But I'm planning on taking you guys on a lot of adventures moving forward. So I'm so excited for all that. I'm so excited for you guys to come along with me. So thank you for all your support and all the changes that have come along this far already. But I'm excited for all the things to come. I just, I have a lot of ideas. And honestly, changing the name, as stupid and as simple as that sounds, really just kind of kick-started for me. Like, let's go. You got this. Here is all the content that you've like secretly wanted to create, but didn't feel like it was right for you as a business owner, even though I'm still a business owner, like that's still a thing, but it now makes sense. It all makes sense. So I'm so excited for you guys to come along with the ride. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a like and subscribe and hit that bell notification. So you're notified every time I post a new video, which is every Thursday typically. And make sure you follow me on Instagram at Vanessa Adventures, like we talked about today, and on TikTok, which is Vanessa.Adventures, because someone already had it. Rude. So, uh, but until next time, bye guys.